Okay, guys, sorry about that. I ran out of space, but anyways, get back. I uh, got that, but there's my cyclone that I made. And I went with the smaller hose, but I had to go to the bigger hose. Things just got plugged in it too much, but other than that, it works good. I got the 14 inch bandsaw, and I've got all my brushes and stuff hung up there. Welding helmet. Uh, this was yesterday's project. Little down drop box. Works good. Best little thing I ever made. And uh, yesterday's project was also this uh, table saw uh, miter sled. I just glued this up. This is an experiment I'm doing with a one bowl thing. I gotta run it through the, the planer. And uh, put my compound saw right there. That's a big one. That's a 12 inch. And as you can see, I've got about uh, 10 feet that I can go. All those uh, band saws slide down. And all my measuring stuff's there. I've got the tumbler there. And um, this is a neat thing here that I designed quick. It folds right down into the cupboard, but it's a little work area. And I've got like the table legs that fold up, and it, it tucks right in, and it folds right in, and I, I store the table saw actually underneath there. Uh, get the rigid planer. That's a sweet deal. Beautiful. I got it on sale for I think it was three forty nine. Really good lifetime warranty. Got the welder, the chop saw, so everything's welding's there. Uh, I got another uh, rotor table here that I mounted in and put the adjusters on it. So there again, I've got good distance. Uh, this is uh, all the rotor and miter area, all the clamp area, cords, extension cords. Uh, that's that little. Uh, I think it's a six inch band saw. I picked that up at the side of the road and cleaned it up and there was nothing wrong with it. All I had to do was uh, replace the tires in it with leather, which I do leather work, so that wasn't a problem. And then I got all my bag stuff, all my multiple different saw sanders and everything are all in there. And got the fan up there, miscellaneous, got all the wrenches there. And all the saws are back in that corner. There again, all the clamps. Now, one thing I want to show you right now before I uh, if this thing runs out of memory again. Uh, when using cutting these boards on your different angles, people are doing them like this with the bandsaw. Now, I just uh, did a glue up on the plywood to experiment with it. And what I did, as you can see here, I put a clamp, okay, and you can adjust it up and down here but all you gotta do now is tilt oh, that light's gonna get in the way but as you can see now you got your flat bed it makes it a lot easier to cut very simple little thing to do on, on these uh, 9 inch there's the other one there but you see now when you're doing these uh, boarded segmented bowls, it's a breeze to cut out. And so that's the tip I wanted to share with you. You guys have been great with me. I got my little uh, uh, chisel grinding station. And the way I designed this is I use a bar clamp that's already to the right height. And there again, you lift this up, and it's another work surface another table and there's storage underneath yeah not very good camera but uh, I'll tell you that works good that's something that people you guys should maybe utilize come up with your own design maybe I just put some hinges on there but you know you guys know you never have enough work surface and that's uh, the rotor box for that one I made uh, I I had to buy another rotor because I have some one inch bits, but all I did here was adapt this to the uh, to the table saw and uh, now the the uh, fence for the table saw is a dual purpose and here's that uh, that bowl right here that I'm uh, gluing up for an experiment and I cut that 
on there just to, uh, it's only a nine inch piece of wood that I use, but I got uh, the three layers on top of the base. I don't know. I wanted to experiment. I got to get my angles down better. I'd do a little more research. But uh, like I said, it worked well. And there's the rotor just sits right in there. It slides right up. And then I say I put the fence down and it works good. Works really nice actually. Uh, the, the miter sled, love it. Should have had one made one years ago. And uh, even had a tape measure here that I could put on it. I made these.